Okay, last thing is this Max Boyan's beef with Ken Todd. So you may or may not have heard last week that Max Boyan's has quit Tom Tom. He was still working for Tom Tom. He was the manager. He was fired from Vanderpump Rules, the show, but he still worked for the Toms or the restaurant, at least, Tom Tom. So he has recently quit, and there were stories that were leaked in the press and on social media saying that he got into a big fight and there was a confrontation with Ken because he wanted more money and he wanted health insurance. And Ken was like, hold up, wait a minute, we're like not even open for business. Like, what, what do you mean? You want more money? We're not even working. We're not even open right now. Apparently, that's a false story that was leaked by someone in the Vanderpump camp to paint, seemingly paint, a negative image of Max. I don't know why that would necessarily need to be, but it also is kind of interesting that we've heard rumble. We've heard these things in the past about the Vanderpump camp leaking stuff to the press, CC Puppygate, and not paying their staff. So apparently that was the reason Max ended up quitting, or like one of the big reasons Max ended up quitting from Tom Tom is because apparently a lot of the kitchen staff at Tom Tom wasn't getting paid last year and they weren't getting their paychecks and Ken was behind on paying them, which obviously is starting to make sense. They closed Villa Blanca. They were hesitant to reopen Pump and Sir. So it's possible that they weren't paying their staff. It's possible that Lisa and Ken are actually having issues financially. Um, We know that there are other former employees that came out and said that they weren't paid for wages. Apparently, Max was one of the people that wasn't paid. Um, And apparently, a lot of the issues that he had with Ken was over unpaid wages for himself and for the staff, which I believe, like, if you're the manager, you definitely have, like, an emotional connection to your team, and I understand that that would be something that he would probably go to bat for. And from what I've heard from the people that I've had on my show, my on this show, and I even had Max on my show last year, you know, he seems like a nice guy that I actually kind of believe this more than I believe he got in a fight with Ken and then decided to quit because he didn't want more money. Like, it just doesn't seem like if it were Jax, if the rumor were about Jax and Jax was working at the restaurant and was the manager from what we've seen of Jax and from what we know of Jax from what other people that know him have said, it just seems like I would believe that he would get into a confrontation with Ken over not over wanting more money. But I seem to lean, I feel like the pieces add up a little more with the story being leaked by Vanderpump and company and that they really weren't paying their staff and Max was going to bat for them. Apparently there were many weeks where the staff was late to be paid or, you know, some of them weren't paid. Apparently Max wasn't paid on several occasions. And so that was part of the reason there was tension between him and Ken, but I don't believe there was actually like a a confrontation. And from what I heard, Max, um, from what I've been able to confirm, Max resigned via email and not in person. So there wouldn't have been a confrontation unless it was and it. I don't know. I just, I, I think I believe that they don't pay their staff and they're having financial issues. And that's unfortunate, but I mean, at some point you got to own it, work through it. You know, don't Tom Girardi this, don't Jen Shaw this, you know, it all comes to a head eventually. And I feel like it's slowly starting to reach the tipping point. So unless Vanderpump and company can, you know, get some more overserved with LVP money from E and they can really get things back on track and make good with all the employees that they've pissed off, I think they may be in for a long, hard road ahead. Still here? Good, because I've got lots more tea to spill. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're always up to date. And if you want full weekly news breakdowns and episodes of the show, you can always subscribe to Hashtag No Filter with Zach Peter on iTunes, Spotify, and pretty much everywhere podcasts are available. So not just snippets, but I'm talking about 30 to 60 minute full episodes, deep dives, news breakdowns, unfiltered interviews, and more. So be sure to subscribe and give us a follow at No Filter with Zach on the Instagram for the latest scoop, funny memes, polls, and more. Get ready. And you can always keep up with me at Just Plain Zach all over the internet. My DMs are wide open. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye.